Y'all, this sauce right here, it's like good enough to drink, okay? Like it's, ugh, it's everything. beautiful people and welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Shakayla I create and share delicious plant-based recipes and inspiration if you're returning thank you so much I really do appreciate you being here y'all I made the green goddess dressing of course the dairy-free version and it's amazing amazing I didn't record myself doing it the first time but I was like no I have to re-record this because the people need this and I want y'all to try it because I am currently obsessed with it and y'all might become obsessed with it too. However, instead of just giving you the dressing and saying this is how you make it, I'm also going to show you four different ways that you can incorporate it into your meals for the week because we are not wasting groceries, okay? We're wasting no groceries. So I hope that you enjoy this video. I know that y'all are going to love this sauce and even the recipes and the ways that I plan to incorporate it into my meals. I got y'all covered. So let's get into the video. I forgot to mention, even my husband who's not plant-based loved this sauce so i know you will too y'all i'm not kidding when i tell you that this sauce is delicious <laughs> for it you're gonna need some cilantro some parsley spinach basil green onions a pitted date a garlic clove jalapeno nutritional yeast raw cashews as well as some dairy-free plain unsweetened yogurt some lemon juice olive oil water as well as salt and pepper I see why green goddess dressing in general has gone viral so many times because it is so delicious now I did add my own spin to it and modified a few ingredients and you'll honestly see that across the board with green goddess dressing. So it is one of those sauces where you can make it your own. So get creative, get fun, you know, add more jalapeno if you want, it's up to you. Y'all this sauce right here, uh, you could drink, I mean, don't drink it because you'll need some more, you know, some more substance, but it's like good enough to drink, okay? So I'm just gonna put this in the refrigerator and now we're gonna get into how you can use it. Like it's, ugh. it's everything. It's, you gotta make it, you gotta make it. Okay, so we're just gonna start off by because we have to bake the sweet potato, we're just gonna start off by poking holes in it. Just rub it with some oil. And now we're gonna bake this in the oven. Now who doesn't love a good old loaded sweet potato? I know I do, and hopefully you do, because that is what we are making in this section of the video. So for my loaded sweet potato, I'm adding mushrooms, red onion, green onion, chickpeas, and spinach. But with these, you can get creative. You can use kale, you can use a meat substitute, you can use crispy mushrooms if you want. Like just, you know, try to do your own thing when it comes to this, or honestly, you can just copy exactly how I did it. It was absolutely delicious. And don't forget to add the sauce because it was a chef's kiss. Once everything just came together, uh, it was so good. she she feels good she feels good to here so I cooked up some spinach which was just like seasoned with some salt and pepper but I really wanted some spinach in there so I would, I would have used kale, but I didn't have any. And then we have our mushroom mix. Yes, yes, uh, yes. I'm actually squeeze a little bit of lemon on top as well. Do the snack on mm -hmm. And now we're gonna take some of that green goddess dressing 
And I'm gonna add those green onions as well. And there we go. How amazing does this look, y'all? So good. Mm-hmm. This is delicious. So the next way we're gonna be using the green goddess dressing is with a salad. Clearly chickpeas are a star of the video right after the dressing because I'm using chickpeas a lot, but if you're not a fan of chickpeas, you can definitely omit them. You could add tofu to this salad. You could add roasted veggies to this salad. You could add some plant-based chicken if you want. It's completely up to you on what protein source you want to include on the salad, but just make sure you make the salad because that dressing with the lettuce and the good old raw veggies, mm, next level. And I actually ended up giving half of the salad to my husband and he loved it as well. So I'm telling y'all, this is a good sauce for, it's a sauce that anybody would enjoy. And what I love most about it is that you can include it in so many different dishes. It's not just for salads or just to drizzle on top. Like, we can do a lot with this. Now this pasta, like I feel like I've been so excited about almost every single recipe that I've shared with y'all, but this pasta though, like, wow. So I told you at the beginning of the video that I made this pasta dish for, I just wanted to make it one night and I was like, okay, like let's try green goddess dressing on pasta, let's do it. And it wowed me. But I ended up making, like I made this batch for this video. And my husband actually used it for his meal prep for the week. So y'all got to make this pasta too. Oh, it's so good. Oh my gosh. Like I'm thinking about it right now and I wish I would have saved a serving for myself instead of giving it to him because it was that good. And with the little toasted breadcrumbs on top. Oh, 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 listen, I don't think y'all are ready. It was so, it was, oh my gosh. Now, I know y'all knew I was gonna include a little breakfast option in here. Like, we have lunch and dinner. We gotta include some breakfast. And so, right now, I'm actually making a, I guess like my take on a tomato jam, which is really just tomatoes, water, salt, garlic cloves, some dried herbs, as well as a sweetener. So I use a monk fruit sweetener and then black pepper as well as vinegar. Now you're just gonna let that cook down until the water simmers and the tomatoes burst and they start to kind of thicken a bit. Now I made this tomato jam for a tofu egg breakfast sandwich. And so I used some extra firm tofu to make my egg patty. And I just made kind of like a quick marinade with some vegetable broth, turmeric for color. I had some smoked paprika, some garlic powder, as well as some black salt. Now, if you're not familiar with black salt, I believe it's pronounced colonomic. It is, it helps give food like an eggy flavor. So you can use this in like potato salad or with your tofu scrambles to help give it, you know, that eggy flavor that those dishes typically have. And so I just let that marinate for a little bit. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention, I did include some nutritional yeast in this marinade, but I guess I did not hit record when I was doing that. So don't forget to add nutritional yeast. And then also I have made a batch of some air fried oyster mushrooms similar to what I did in my last what I eat in a week video. 
and so I just I had some left over so I added that on top and uh, so so good so good but i want to thank you so much for watching this video i hope that this inspired you to make the green goddess dressing and then to whether it be make these exact recipes or to just you know come up with your own ideas and own ways of utilizing a sauce for the week i think it will help spice up some of those meals so thank you again for watching i hope that you enjoyed it and i will see you next week